Again, it's the Tim Hortons NHL All-Star Player Draft kicking off a three-day All-Star weekend here in Toronto, Dave. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's actually the first time we've had a draft here at All-Star Weekend since 2015. That's right, and this is how it works. Basically, there's going to be teams of 11, four teams of 11 who will play this Saturday for cash prizes. Uh, it's going to be really good. We needed some help, though, when we had to figure out the draft order. And when you need help, who do you call on? You call on the great one. Mm -hmm. How about the greatest one in Wayne Gretzky determining the first overall pick at the Hall of Fame? And, we and, there, it and there it was with that picture of Michael Buble. Congratulations. Team Hughes, of course, the co-captain, Wynn Hughes, the NHL's leading scorer for defensemen, coming out now, as well as his co-captain, younger brother Jack, the three-time All-Star, still recovering from that upper body injury. And ah. Quinn's teammate, Elias Pettersson, playing in his fourth NHL All-Star game, is going to be an assistant captain. And there he is, the celebrity oh, captain, wow. a wink from Michael Buble, a huge Canucks <laughs> fan and a Canadian music legend. Five-time Grammy and 15-time Juno Award winner, Hi. Team Hughes. First overall pick hey. right there, Team Hughes. Hey. We are Picking second are we tonight up? will be the local favorite, no. Team Matthews. Led by the captain and seven-time All-Star, Austin Matthews, the NHL's leading goal scorer. Morgan Riley, his first All-Star appearance for the star defenseman of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Justin Bieber, the pop icon, one of the most successful musicians in the history. He's here, the celebrity captain, Team Matthews. He's ready, he's into it, assistant GM, our third overall pick. Captain by Nathan McKinnon, MVP favorite, Stanley Cup champion. Nathan will be assisted by his teammate, Kale McCarr, only man ever to win the Hobie Baker Norris Trophy and Conn Smythe will be Kale's third All-Star game. And the celebrity captain, Canadian singer, songwriter, dancer and actress, you'll see her as our headline performer on Saturday. Give it up for Kate McCray. And our fourth team, kind of a homecoming, Connor McDavid, fourth overall pick of the Edmonton Oilers. He'll be helped out by his boy, Leon Dreisaitl, and also another Canadian, Arrested Development, Blades of Glory, and maybe the best podcast going right now, Smartless, Will R. Nett. So we'll have 36 players to choose from tonight. Only one couldn't make it for a prior engagement. He will be here tomorrow. He will play in the game. But check out the Jumbotron for the one guy who couldn't be here for his short message. Hey guys, sorry I'm not there. Fortunately, I was able to find someone to fill in for me. See you soon. All right, so representing Sid tonight is Ryan Owens, a seven-year-old Timbit kid. Tim Horton, so important to the hockey community. The Tim, po Tim Bits program started in 1982. Helped more than 80,000 kids develop confidence, learn teamwork and social skills, and most importantly, have fun. He will play the part of Sidney Crosby tonight. Tonight, these Tim Bit kids will be passing out jerseys to our first round players as they are being picked. All right, well, let's get right to it. The first four rounds, the teams will have 45 seconds to make their pick. Again, it's Team Hughes on the clock as we begin the Tim Horton NHL All-Star Player Ask Draft. Who? Here we go. Sound is chaotic. Team Hughes. Willie. Ask who? Oh, we're mic'd up. We are mic'd up and we are on. Oh, boy. Um, so, either Crosby, Kucherov, Pasternak. Yeah. <laughs> Live <laughs> draft <laughs> coverage. There we go with the... Uh, need two goalies before the, round seven. Want, is it Gooch? Oh. Yeah. You guys look cute. Oh, announce it. Gooch? Yep. I didn't realize. All right. What do we have, Team Hughes? You guys look cute as hell right now. We proudly select. Love it. From the Tampa Bay Lightning, Love Nikita it. Kucherov. Oh, what Nikita a year. Nikita Kucherov, first Have player it. chosen, the NHL's leading point getter right now, a former MVP of the Tampa Bay Lightning. <laughs> we the Nikita the Kucherov the off the board. <laughs> to the Team Hughes with the first overall pick in this year's player draft. That means Team Matthews with Morgan Riley, Justin Bieber, and Austin <laughs> Matthews, they are officially on the clock. I think we know who we are. Yeah, we're, we're ready. 
They're ready. They woke up knowing. From uh, Calgary, Alberta, by way of Stockholm, Sweden, William Nealon. William Nealon. William Nylander, and there he is, a, a leap theme on Team Matthews, Riley, and Bieber. He gets his first round jersey. Oh, there it is. Number 88 on Team Matthews is William Nylander. Didn't frame that one day. Oh, yeah. All right, Nate McKinnon, third overall pick. Two yeah. players gone. Yeah. Did you go to bed knowing who you were going to take last yeah. night? Did I go to bed knowing? Last night knowing who you... I had an idea. Okay. Uh, we're going to let Tate make our uh, All right, Tate. Make the hey. announcement. Um, I, I think we're going to have to go with Sidney Crosby. I think you do. <laughs> I think you do. Come on up. Coming up. And the old school hey. hey. uniform. There he is. <laughs> Sydney, Sydney Crosby, of course, was a Tim Bit kid. I don't, I don't know if that's Tim Bit size or Sydney size, but. So Nathan McKinnon, with some provincial love, he gets his boy, Sidney Crosby. All right, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, hello, Will. Great to see you, brother. How are you? Good to see you. All right, so you got, of course, a snake draft. You're going to get the next two. You get the next two? That's so a bit of a strategy. You got goalies out there. We all need two goalies, we're, right? I think we're ready to roll. Will's going to pick up. We're ready to roll. We know, exactly, we know exactly who we want. What kind of player do you need? We want somebody who's going to make a difference. We want somebody who's going to toe the line. We want... Connor Hellebach. Whoa, Connor an Hellebach. early goalie selection. Come on. I mean, the, o the Oilers have won 16 in a row. They know defense wins championships, and they're playing great defense lately. We need it. We need you. We need you. USA born Connor Hellebach, first overall here in the great hockey city of Toronto. Yeah. He yeah. All right, so that's the first four picks, David, of our NHL hey, player draft. I think, uh, a few surprises I think there. Connor Hellebuck's off the board. The first round's in the books. Second, third, and fourth round's all coming up as we continue the Tim Hortons NHL All-Star Player Draft. Welcome back to Scotiabank Arena. The best and brightest stars in the National Hockey League congregating here in Toronto for the next three days. And one of those stars, a third-time All-Star, Mitch Marner. Now, Mitch, we saw William Nylander, your teammate, go to your boys. You got to keep the band together, right? You got to be on this team. Uh, we'll see. Now, are you going to lobby for Connor not to take you with the next pick then? <laughs> it's, well, they're drafted. I don't know. Whatever they want to do. Whatever they want their team. We'll see. All right, well, we've got one round in the books. It looks like you're pretty open to all the options available. Best of luck looking forward as we start round two of the draft. Back to you, John. Yeah, it is interesting. McDavid or McKinnon could try to keep some of that synergy away because they're playing, you know, they're playing to win on Saturday. Uh, so maybe there's some even some deals before the show. We don't know. All right, Connor, you went goalie the first time around. Controversial pick. Everyone's talking about it on social media. <laughs> what about your next pick? Do we know what we're going to do? I think they know. Yeah. You had a commercial break. Right? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to let you guys make the call, but go ahead. You, you do. Uh, we think that we need a little bit of goal scoring, so we got David Pasta. Oh, yeah. Carbo loading with pasta. Good call. Huh? Imagine huh? these three on the ice at the same <laughs> hey, time. Dry Sidle, Leon, and David Pasternak. <laughs> having another MVP type <laughs> season in Boston this year. <laughs> despite his fellow legends retiring after last year. So Connor McDavid off to a great start. All right, Tate McRae, announce your next pick with Kale and Nate. Uh, so yeah, Tate second pick. We're going to take it back home to Denver, Colorado, and uh, Alexander Georgiev. Yeah, you need a goalie. Why not go with one that Kale communicates with on a nightly basis? Alex Gorgiev joins Team McKinnon. <laughs> they take one of their hey, two welcome. goalies. We have eight goalies here tonight to be chosen. Two gone so far, six to go. And Team Matthews is on the board. And Justin, I want to know, how much input are you having with the picks tonight? You said what? How much, how much input are you having with these picks? I mean, I'm trusting these guys. Definitely trusting these guys. Your, your buddy's still on the board here. I think I might know where this pick's going, or maybe they're going to go off the board. Uh, Morgan, uh, Austin. Look that way, let them know who you're taking. Let's do it. <laughs> Get over here. Achy. And there it is. A leaf reunion. 
Hey. Come on, baby. Mitch Barner joining his teammate, Nylander, yeah, well, Riley, yeah. and Matthew. Good. <laughs> And there it is. That's a lot of Toronto. Round two, Mitch Marner, and now it's four Maple Leafs on Team Matthews. And that means Team Hughes is on the board, not for one, but for two picks. It's a lot of deliberation here. Hughes brothers are grinding. Yeah. They get two picks in a row. Oh. Demko. Steal Demko. Second, whatever you think's better. All right. Firstly, we got to figure this out. I got to know this. The first pick doesn't matter the second. Are you playing D or center? Oh. Like I always want you to play. <laughs> <laughs> Go center. We proudly select from my hometown Vancouver Canucks, Thatcher Demko. There it is. The right, first goalie right. taken by Team Hughes. And nice to get the Canuck players together. The Canucks with six players and a head coach. The most representation we've seen at an yes. NHL All-Star oh, game. Thatcher Demko joins the team. Which one? Your pick. Yeah. yeah. You guys are on the board once again for a second pick. All right, our uh, third pick, we're gonna go from the Winnipeg Jets, Kyle Connor. Woo! Wow, sneaky <laughs> goal scorer, Kyle Connor. Canucks and Jets yeah. getting together. <laughs> and there it is. Kyle Connor and Thatcher Demko join Team Hughes. Is he good? All right, so that's Team Hughes. We're going to head over to Austin Riley. Matthews' team. And you want to Austin, announce it this time? Was that the game plan right from the start to get your two teammates on your team? Um, I think so. Mitchie made some outlandish comments that if we don't pick him, he was going to be really upset. So uh, <laughs> we felt it was right, and then, you know, they're on the board. All right, well, there's no more Leafs to take, so now you got to pick some of the, uh, the other players. you have someone in mind? Uh, we do. I think Mo's going to make the pick. Yeah, we're going goalie uh, Jake Ottinger. Oh, big Jake. Hey, Jake Ottinger big Jake. the Dallas Stars. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, bro? Yes, sir. Good to meet you, too. Uh, first time All-Star, Jake Ottinger joining Team Matthews. All right, Team McKinnon, is your okay. call. Of course, uh, Nate, you're a Tim Bit kid, right? Yep. What's your yep. favorite Tim Hortons donut? Do you have one? Probably the Boston cream. Let's go. That's got to count, right? Number That's one good. overall donut. Yeah. That's good. All right. Really good. Uh, you're building a strong team. Who's the next selection? Uh, I see a lot of them uh, in our division, so got to go with Kirill Kaprizov. Oh, yes. Kirill, come on up. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> Good man. Hi, nice to meet you. So Kirill Kaprizov of the Minnesota Wild joining Aww. Tim McKinnon. So Team McDavid actually. once again has two picks. Pretty good position to be in, Connor. Obviously, you went goalie first. Man, you get pasta. That's a good value pick right there. Um, what, where are you going next? You have two picks in a row. Yeah. Um, I think we need uh, a defenseman. Yeah. He, there's, on, yeah. there's only a handful of them here. Right. We're going to go with Rasmus Dahlin. Oh, filthy. Ah. Nobody breaks ankles like Rasmus Dahlin at the blue line. This guy is like a young Allen Iverson. He is filthy. He'll join a strong offensive juggernaut right now. You might want to find a two-way player here. Uh, any any two-way players here? Okay. What's that? One more pick. Knock it off. Right away. Knock it out. I don't know. This we have not discussed, so no. this is happening on the fly. Yeah. What do you think, Will? Put on your analysis here's, hat. Here's my rule when it comes to picking team hockey teams. Don't ask the actor. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Fair. Um, That's a, I think John Candy made a few picks for the Kings. Boys, what do you think? Kind of caught us off guard. Um, what do you think? Take Another the goalie? Up. Turn your mic off first. Y you really can't lose. They're all, they're all really good. Huh? Okay. Uh, we will pick uh, Robbie Thomas. There we go. Robert Thomas. There we go. I thought he met the lead singer of Matchbox 20 for a second. Was he here? Robert Thomas, excellent offensive uh, player. What? 
<laughs> so Team McDavid continues to get solid. Hey, buddy. Shaped up. All right. Good call. Back to McKinnon. Okay. All right, Tate. How much input do you have in all this? Pardon? How much input? Like, um, pick your favorite player. Do you know, you yeah, I'm looking at the names. Really uh, I kind of trust in the guys on this one. Okay. Um, Sebastian Aho, uh, I think. That's a pretty good one. He can do it all. He can score. He can take a face off. He'll block a shot if he has to. So Sebastian Ajo with the Carolina Hurricanes, the latest selection from Nathan McKinnon squad. Get it? All right, so it's uh, Austin Matthews, Justin Bieber, and Morgan Riley about to make a pick. You got your goaltender last round. Are you going back to a goalie? You're finding a forward? What's the plan? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, we're going to go with the forward from the Arizona Coyotes, Clayton Keller. Oh, yeah. Well, Arizona reunion. You know him so well. You know his game. I got my guy. Bag. Some oh, Arizona man. golf yeah. buddies. What's up, man? Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah you guys go way. How far back do you guys go? Uh, junior. So, like, yeah, 16, 17. How cool is it that we're seeing the growth of the sport? Take a double here. You're in Ontario, but really across no, Bob, North America. You got to do what's yeah, right for your team, uh, too. You love to yeah. see it in you know, non traditional you. hockey markets and. Uh, places like that. It's great to see more more kids playing hockey, picking up a stick, and, and just enjoying it. So, well, that's good. And Morgan, how much influence are you having on these picks? Do you, think, do you think Brock will be? Yeah, back? it's been fun. Um, I think the picks have been good, so we've got some work to do, but I think we're in a good spot. All right. So there's Team Matthews. They get Clayton Keller, and now we're over to Team Hughes. It'll be okay. Been all over the board. I'm not sure what to predict here. Team Hughes, no, we need another ten good. minutes. That's all. <laughs> Michael, what's the issue? Is there, is there issues? Are you guys arguing? Yeah, the no, issue no, no. is there are too many good hockey players. We have literally the greatest players on the planet, and there isn't a bad pick. And so it's impossible to know which of the greatest hockey players on our planet to pick. And I'm eating into our 30 seconds. So what's up, boys? <laughs> what are we doing? All right. You want to go yeah. first, Cap? We're taking, uh, oh. let's do this. All right. From the Ottawa Senators, Brady to Chuck. <laughs> And look at this, Brady Kachuk. What a Three, great one, uh, pick. The captain of the Ottawa Senators. It's up to you. Here, do your Maybe a bit of a surprise. There's still some Vancouver Canucks waiting to be drafted, but Team Hughes, they found their man in Brady Kachuk. Let's recap now, David. Go through teams one through four. All right, so Team Hughes, the tail of the tape. They pick Nikita Kucherov first overall. They add a star goaltender, Demko, then Kyle Connor and Brady Kachuk as they round out their first picks. Team Austin Matthews, they select William Nylander and Mitch Marner as they keep the band together. And then Jake Ottinger, the goalie from the Dallas Stars, and Clayton Keller, a reunion of sorts from Arizona. And the Eminem boys, McKinnon and McCarr, and McRae, Sidney Crosby, what a great selection for them. They get their teammate goalie early, and then Kaprizov and Aho to round out them. And Team McDavid, they took the first goalie. They get Pasta, a defenseman in Rasmus Dahlin, and Robert Thomas could do it all in the offensive end as well. So all four teams off to a good start, David. Speed rounds are coming up, so keep it locked here. It's the Tim Hortons NHL All-Star Player Draft. Welcome back to the Tim Hortons All-Star Player Draft. As we continue on here, a goalie has been taken by each organization so far. Three, three of them American-born, just like Jeremy Swayman. So, Jeremy, you're sitting here. These four teams all need one more goalie. Uh, how nervous are you? I see a little sweat on the brow. Yeah. Uh, I saw the two names I was sitting between, and I knew pretty quick I was going to be cast on an island. So... I'll work hard for you guys, and hopefully uh, we get some good luck coming our way. So you anticipated being here by yourself once you were with your fellow guys. I did. I knew that pretty quick. How does a goalie prepare for an all-star game like this? Three on three, you guys have the most pressure on it. Uh, what can you bring to one of these organizations? I think uh, I'm really glad that it's not counting towards my actual stats, but I'm going to do my job and hopefully um, help our team get a chance to win. We'll see if maybe your American brothers, the Hughes, will select you for their second goalie. David, what are they going to do? Yeah, there you know, has like, been an American theme with Team Hughes. Their last three picks gonna, have been gonna, Americans gonna, and some of the national Canuck, team. Five Canucks, no matter They're what. debating it now. And what? then we can try to trade for Millsy after. 
Oh, Mike. Oh, oh, <laughs> right there. All right, make your pick. Yeah? Yeah, go. Go ahead, man. All right, from the New Jersey Devils, Jesper Bratt. And, th and there you go, the man who is replacing Jack Hughes at the All-Star Game. Devils Brothers, and now All-Star Brothers as well. What's up, Bratter? How you doing? All right, so Team Hughes has made a selection. You're going to need a goalie, I believe, in your next selection, Team Hughes. And, and we're back to Team Matthews. Okay, we want to hear you guys deliberate what your next pick's going to be, but I do have a question. You see Jesper Bratt's hair. You guys play with, obviously, William Nylander. Brock Besser's out there. Who's got the best hair in the league? Oh, it'd be a close tie between those two, I think. I don't know. Maybe Willie, though. Mark, what do you think? Willie. <laughs> Always Willie. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, hear it. You guys uh, still need a goalie. You have a few picks to make. Uh, you, Justin, Morgan, uh, why don't you talk it through? Yeah, I think yeah, we're going to wait on the goalie, right? Yeah, we already talked it through. I think we know who yeah. we want. From the New York Islanders, Matthew Barzell. Oh, he's filthy. Speed kills. I like that pick. That's a quality pick. Matthew Barzell. He's going for the MVP award. His third All-Star game. I get you, baby. Fastest skater back in 2020. Good to see you, brother. And it's a British Columbia homecoming, right, Morgan? Stop. And there it is, Matthew Barzell. All right, David, while that Austin was going Matthews on, I, I saw a couple of Hughes brothers pop over here and got in Nathan McKinnon's ear. I don't know if Elliot Friedman has already tweeted this out, but was a trade offered you or something, Nathan? What was going on? Just a mutual understanding. He did me a favor earlier in the draft, so he wants me to pay it back to him, but... Tate's going to make our next pick here. So. Okay, so Tate, did they influence this pick, or this yep. is the pick you're going to make? Yeah, um, they're saying we need to add some grit, so we're going to go with Tom Wilson. Perfect. <laughs> nice. We need somebody who's going to fight Brady Kachuk. <laughs> Tom Wilson. <laughs> we need some size on the squad, yeah. Hi. <laughs> so Tom Wilson goes to Team McKinnon. All right, Team McDavid, talk it through. Will, what do we need? What are the deficiencies? What's going to bring this a, a championship on Saturday? We're playing to win. We, uh, we've given this a lot of thought. We've, we've applied all of our brain power to it. Okay. And we thought... You seemed disorganized last time, I got to admit. But you see how hard it is for me to think. <laughs> Fix every ounce of energy. Uh, from Florida, Sam Reinhardt. How just having Come like on. a monster, monster season. Why wouldn't you take a guy on a heater? When you think of hot NHL commodities as uh -huh. Edmonton, they've won 16 in a row, and you think Sam Reinhardt. Sam, grab your jersey right behind you. Now that's a quality pick. Okay, so everyone has to pick a goalie now, right? Because we're down the part of the draft where you guys have to pick the four remaining goalies, and so you pick the first one. Um, what's up next for Team McDavid? Yeah, we got to go with another goalie. Um, I think we're going to grab Sam's teammate from Florida, Sam Bobrovsky, or uh, Sergey Bobrovsky. Sergey! Yeah. They call that synergy. <laughs> that, uh huh? So, Sergey Bobrovsky joining yeah. Team McDavid. So, Team McDavid, their current roster, as you see, David Dreisaitl, they, they took good. Hellebuck early, then they had Pasta, Darlene, Robert Thomas, and Sam Reinhardt, couple of righties, and then Sergei Bobrovsky in net. So now we're on to Team McKinnon. Again, you have three goalies to choose from, Kale McCarr. You know goalies. Which one are you going to choose? It's tough. They're all good. Yeah, we've been told we got to pick a goalie, so um, this guy's been all right this year. We'll go with uh, Jeremy Swayman. Not bad. Jeremy! Come on over. University of Maine product. Mike Richter award winner. Welcome to the squad, bro. Yep. Hi, nice to meet you. What's going on, brother? Good stuff. A couple of Hockey East college hockey players, Kale McCarr and Jeremy Swayman. All right, over to you, David. So, well, let's go through Team McKinnon's squad first. Again, McKinnon McCarr, that's always a good start. They get Crosby with their first pick. Gorgiev in net, Kaprizov. Aho, Wilson, Swayman. All right, Team Matthews, who's your attendee? All right, so we need a second goaltender to round out your squad. You have two options. What do you have? 
Uh, we're going to go with from the New York Rangers, Igor Shosturkin. Can't go wrong with a Vesna winner. Igor Shosturkin joins Team Matthews and rounds out their goal How are you doing? What's up, man? So for Team Matthews, alongside Morgan Riley, uh, they kept it in-house with William Nylander and Mitch Marner early on. Then they found a goalie in Jake Ottinger, Clayton Keller, and Matthew Barzell with some junior ties to these guys. And then Igor Shosturkin, yeah. the Vesna winner a few years ago, joins Team Matthews, which firmly puts Team Hughes on the clock. And I, this is a pretty easy pick to make <laughs> for you guys. Yeah. The goalie. You, you, we get two now, right? Uh, but you just, just won. We have commercial breaks, too. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before the commercial break, you guys want to make this? Why don't you make this one, dude? Uh, which one was it? I think Brock. 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 Uh, from Vancouver Canucks, Brock Besser. Oh, oh wait, you guys needed a, you needed a goalie, though. Uh, we you have, have to, to you pick have a goalie. Take a goalie. Sorry. Hold on, Brock, hold on. Oh, you have to hold come on. on. <laughs> He'll be back oh, after the commercial on. break. <laughs> you gotta take... The, the Follow the rules. All two right, two pick, goalies uh, before the seventh round. So pick. there's one goalie. But we wanted, we were going to take the goalie, but we thought we would just because we had two in a row. We felt like. Can we get I security like, down here, please? I feel like I just lost a Grammy or an Academy <laughs> Award or something. Talbot. You gonna do the honors? Yeah. yeah. You good? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. All right, Cam Talbot. <laughs> Let's go, Cam. There is a homecoming for Cam Talbot, a second All-Star game for the Kings goalie. Had to take your goalies before round seven. We had, we had to, we had to come right next. <laughs> yeah. uh, every. And there is Team Hughes after seven rounds. A distinct flavor to this Quinn Hughes team with Pedersen. They had Kucherov, Demko, Kyle Connor, Brady Kachuk, Jesper Bratt, and Cam Talbot rounding out the first seven rounds of our NHL All-Star Player Draft. Okay, well, time to take a break. I think we know who Team Hughes will take next. If they don't, there'll be issues in Vancouver. We'll be back with that pick next. Welcome back to a very busy Scotiabank Arena. Hockey fans from around the world keeping their eye on this, including Brock Besser, who's waiting to have his name called and was almost called there. Brock, what's a guy have to do? You're the 2018 All-Star MVP. You're on pace for 50 goals. What's going on here? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, a new year and, uh, you know, just a new self mentally. And uh, it's been a great year for our team so far. Everyone's been working hard and uh, our whole coaching staff has been great. So it's been fun. Has it been nerve wracking though, sitting through all these picks? Uh, not, too, not too bad because I got Millsy and Lindy with me, so. You got some teammates and some friends here, your new teammate too. All right, we're going to continue this draft, and it's Team Hughes on the board in your name. We'll see if it comes up. Back to you, John. Yeah, Team Hughes is grinding right now. I don't know if there's dissension. It's hard. It's like controversy. So you, you make this pick. They brought Besser over during the commercial break. I don't know what was said. Am I on the play. clock? Are we on the clock? You're on the clock. You need three more players. Let me just say this on behalf of all my Canuck brothers and sisters. This is bull. This is... <laughs> I, I, this, <laughs> nothing that happens tonight better cost me a Stanley Cup. You understand me? I did my hair for three hours for this moment. We proudly select Brock Besser Come from the Vancouver Canucks. He's, he's wearing out a path on this ice, back and forth. Hey, Brocky. For the second time. For the second time. All right, David Amber, another <laughs> player waiting to be picked tonight. Yeah, Nick Suzuki, who is the first Montreal Canadian player since Mark Recchi to make back-to-back-to-back all-star appearances. This is a different format. Do you like the format? Yeah, it's been cool so far. I think the captains are doing a good job, and, you know, the guys sitting here anxiously waiting. Well, the Leafs and Habs have a rivalry, but do you want to make any plea at all? Because it is going to be Austin Matthews and Morgan Riley and Justin Bieber making the next selection. Yeah, hopefully uh, we can put the rivalry aside, maybe. But, you know, who knows? It's a long rivalry for sure. All right, best of luck. We got three more rounds, John. All right, Team Matthews, uh, Justin, your squad only has one defenseman. Have we talked about maybe adding another, another one? Or uh, where do you think the team should go right now? Austin, what are you thinking? 
Is this our pick? Is it time? our pick? We're on the clock? We're on the clock. So we um, do you know who we're going to pick. He has the best mustache in the NHL. Uh, I quite envy it. Uh, from the Nashville Predators, Philip Forsberg. That is a lip sweater to the envy of. A prodigious muzzy. How you doing? Philip Forsberg and Snipe. Welcome, buddy. Another finisher. Gave him muzzy. Good to see you. Yes, Austin. Pitch. <laughs> Matthew, Clayton, good stuff. All right. All right, Team McKinnon. What are we thinking here? Only got a couple picks left. So uh, where are you going now with your latest pick? Well, we, we need an agitator, so yeah. no better guy than Travis Konecki. Perfect. Love it. Travis Konecki, come on down. You're on Team McKinnon. <laughs> All right, you can take your time, McDate, Team McDavid, Will Arnett, Leon Dreisaitl. You got plenty of time to talk about it. Um, again, before your selection, Connor, what about what does this weekend mean to you? Um, for those maybe watching in the United States, they don't realize you grew up around here. What does this area mean to you? How did it uh, affect you as a young kid growing up? Uh, yeah, obviously it means a lot to me. Um, you know, growing up in the area, um, this building, obviously watching the Leafs grow up, uh, growing up. Um, yeah, I have a lot of family and friends in town. Um, it's special for me. 16 wins in a row. Your team is on the heater, you and Leon. Um, what does that feel like when you come to an all-star weekend, you take a break, and you're still on this, this magical run? Does it make this more relaxing and fun? Certainly a lot better than where we were. Um, you know, we still got a long way to go. We dug ourselves a big hole, and um, we're doing a good job of getting ourselves out of it. But certainly special to be on a, on a run like that. Um, and it feels good. We have five more months. It's a long season and a long way to go, but we hope to see you guys in June. All right, so you look at the squad. Three on three this Saturday, all-star format. Will Arnett, uh, where are we going? Now, where do you think we should go? What do you, if you talk to the boys about? I think we, I think we got a consensus, right? Yeah. Do we? Connor? Yeah. It's unanimous. You got it. Uh, we're going to go with Boone Jenner. Oh, Boone Jackets. Jenner. They're not booing. They're saying Boone. Captain the Columbus Blue Jackets. Awesome for Boone to hey, be buddy. at the All-Star Weekend. Ten. Hey, buddy. Right on. Yeah. What next? What next? So before your yeah. pick, Connor, you guys can talk about it. Well, let's go through the roster one more time. All these teams have one more pick to go. We'll start with Team McDavid. There it is, Leon and Connor, goalie early. And latest pick, Boone Jenner. That's a nice squad right there. Lots of character and talent. Team McKinnon with their celebrity captain, Tate McRae. Just took Travis Konechny with their last pick. They got Konechny and Wilson. They might be shorthanded in this game a couple times. We'll have to wait and see on that one, David Amber. And Team Matthews, of course, Austin and Morgan Riley selecting two teammates, William Nylander and Mitch Marner off the hop, and then Ottinger and Shesterkin are their goalies. Heller, Barzell, and Philip Forsberg, as Austin says, with the best mustache in the game, round out their first seven picks. And for Team Hughes, they're contemplating things right now. Michael Buble is very animated over there, but he likes the squad so far. They've selected Nikita Kucherov, the leading point getter in the NHL. Thatcher Demko, Kyle Connor, Brady Kachuk to add a little grit, Jesper Bratt, Cam Talbot, and Brock Besser. All right, one more selection for each team. We've had plenty of time to talk about it, Connor. We know where we're going? Yeah, I think so. Um, well, do you want to make it? Yeah. We're going to uh, pick a guy who's uh, an awesome hockey player. He plays for a team that is a long-standing rival of the Leafs. Your team. Because he's a hab. My team. A Leaf is My hometown of Toronto. Wow. But we're going to pick Mr. Nick Suzuki. Come on. A lot of love in the room. Nick Suzuki. Yeah. How are you? So Nick Suzuki will join his team, McDavid. So we'll watch Nick skate over. There's his squad saying hi to his teammates for a day. Saturday, three on three. 
as we have four 11 player squads here and Nick Suzuki is the latest to join Team McDavid. All right, Team McRae, Team McKinnon, Team McCarr, MMM, you have one more pick to go. Yep. This, could, this could be the difference maker, yeah. what do you think? Okay, so I'm sad. He just got traded from my hometown team. Yeah, Calgary, Calgary Flames. You're, you're a big Flame fan, right? <laughs> Um, so we're gonna go with Elias Lindholm. Mm. Yeah, he earned that this weekend wearing a Flames jersey. So now, one of those unique situations where for the first time he wears a Canuck jersey here at All-Star Weekend. Elias Lindholm, a lot of teams wanted him and Vancouver got him and this team got him too. Team McKinnon, well done. That puts Austin Matthews on the clock. There's been very little deliberation. You guys are kind of chill, just going about your business. Are you just agree on every pick? I think we just, yeah, we know who we want, and just make the pick. Easy as that. You have one defenseman, you have your two goalies, and uh, what are you thinking with your second last pick? Morgan's going to make this one. Mm. Alex Debrinkat from oh. the Detroit Red Wings. There he is, Alex Debrinkat. He's got a one-time bomb. Second-time All-Star. Big Cat. And there it is. You have a lot of undersized forwards on your team, like fast, crafty guys. <laughs> All right, so Austin Matthews has one more pick to make. And there's the final pick of the eighth round. Team Hughes, they've been talking a lot. Michael Buble's been doing most of the talking. What's going on? Oh, I mean, uh, we're in heaven. We love the team we have. It's beautiful. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, who wants to? We know the pick. It's just a matter of who wants to make the pick. Uh, if we got from Vancouver, JT Miller. There is the rugged forward, JT Miller. What a season he's had. His first All Star appearance on pace for 112 I sorry, points. I feel bad he joins his teammates on the Vancouver Canucks. Four Canucks on Team Hughes, David. It's uh, uh, five. What? Five with Demko. He said you yeah. would never Five do that, right? Like, he thought we were trying goalie. to make a play. So my goodness, it's the Vancouver Canucks yeah, we versus the Toronto Maple Leafs when you look at these two teams because... Bouvelet is clearly running that teams. show. Yeah. <laughs> All those Canucks. So we have four players left. We're going to take a break, and they're going to find out what team they will be joining all at the same time when we come back at the Tim Hortons NHL All-Star Player Draft. Back for the conclusion after this. Oh, sure. Welcome back to Scotiabank Arena as we're ready to wrap up the Tim Hortons NHL All-Star Player Draft. And again, we have eight rounds in the books. We have four players remaining. We'll get to those players in just a matter of moments. And of course, in case you're just tuning in, Team Hughes, again with Quinn Hughes and his brother Jack Hughes as co-captains, Elias Pettersson as the assistant, and Michael Buble have selected Nikita Kucherov, Thatcher Demko, Kyle Connor, Brady Kachuk, Jesper Bratt, Cal Cam Talbot, Brock Besser, and JT Miller. So count them, five Vancouver Canucks on that team. For Team Matthews with Austin Matthews and Morgan Riley and Justin Bieber as their celebrity captain have selected two Leafs back to back, William Nylander and Mitch Marner, followed by Jake Ottinger, Clayton Keller, Matthew Barzell, Igor Shosturkin, Philip Forsberg, and their last pick was Alex Dabrinkin. Okay, Team McKinnon with help from Kale McCarr and Tate McRae. Sidney Crosby was their first pick. Jorge Evanet, Kaprizov, Aho, Wilson, Jeremy Swayman, Travis Konechny, and the new Vancouver Canuck, Elias Lindholm. They have one pick remaining. And then Team McDavid. Connor McDavid with help from Leon Dreisaitl and Will Arnett, Pasternak, Dahlin, Thomas, Reinhardt, Bobrovsky, Boo Jenner and Nick Suzuki. So again, each team has 10 players. They all have one more to go. We have four All-Stars yet to be chosen and they will be eventually chosen now. And uh, we'll start with Nathan McKinnon. Uh, different format, something you're not maybe used to. How do you like the new format? It's good, I mean, I'm not 
the best uh, public speaker in the world, but it was fun. I think the fans enjoyed it, and uh, definitely better than years past, for sure. And did Sid say, hey, I know what you're doing there. You better take me first round, even though I'm not going to be there in person, just because you guys go so far back. I didn't even know he wasn't going to be here until I saw on the video, <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously we're buddies. It'll be uh, fun to play an all-star game together. How nice is it to have this opportunity? There's a lot of guys you're buddies with, but a lot of guys you probably haven't spent a lot of time off ice with. You're getting that opportunity now. Yeah, it's fun to hang out with the best players in the league. Uh, you know, I haven't met a bad hockey person, and I'm excited to meet the guys on the, the team and other guys around the league. All right, thanks, Nathan. John. All right, Nate's team needs one more dude. You guys need one more dude. Hello, Jack. Hello, Quinn. Jack, uh, you still came this weekend despite not being able to play. Uh, why? Just uh, draft a team, my brother. You know, that's pretty fun. So uh, I think we drafted a good team, and hopefully they win it. All right, Quinn, what do you think so far as you look at the roster? What did you think coming into this, uh, how it would feel like, and what, ha what ended up happening? Uh, it was obviously a pretty cool night, great atmosphere here, and, um, you know, got five out of six Canucks, something we were looking to do. But, uh, yeah, happy with our squad. Team Hughes is ready to go. All right, and I wanted to talk to Tate McRae because you have a big performance coming on Saturday. How excited are you for that? I'm so excited. It's my first time at the All-Star Game, so I brought my dad. We're stoked to be here. And I know you're Flames fans, and it was a pretty, you know, interesting trade, obviously, yesterday, and you said you're obviously sad to see Lindholm go. What's it like when you go to the games and you're in the Saddle Dome? It's so fun. I was just back in Calgary for Christmas, and it's always fun seeing my friends and cheering them on. Right, we'll be cheering you on Saturday night. John. So again, we have four great NHL players left, Bjorkstrand, Vetrano, Hurdle, and Trocek. And the way we're going to find out, and how they will find out, what team they will be on, we're getting help from a, a living legend who is in town. His number is in the rafters here in Toronto. He played in eight NHL All-Star games. He's in the Hall of Fame to help us deliver the envelopes to find out where these fellows are going. Dave Keon. Let's hear it for the Hall of Famer, Toronto. Mr. Keon, it's great to have you here. And uh, this is kind of a cool moment as well. How much does this bring you back, the All-Star Games you played in? Uh, there weren't as many people <laughs> the night before, but uh, it's nice to be here. Well, welcome back. It's great to have you here. What we're going to have is the envelopes. You have the Timbits here with the envelopes. They're going to get the envelopes to you. You're going to kind of shake them up, and the players will pull an envelope, and they'll know what team they're on. We should introduce the players as well. Vinny Trocek, uh, Thomas Hurdle. Would you guys like to come forward? Uh, Frank Vitrano as well. Oh, here, all right. First, we'll get the, uh, the envelopes given to Mr. Keon by these guys. Yep. There you go. These have the... Uh... The four teams inside the envelope. So, Dave, you mix those up a little bit, just a little bit of a shuffle, and then pass them out, F fan them out like a deck of... Oh, he's going to hand them out, so random. There's Vinny Trocek, Thomas Hurdle of the Sharks, Frank Vetrano, Ollivander Bjorkstrand of the Seattle Kraken. So, these guys will open up the envelopes and find out who they play for. We'll do it one at a time. Vinny, we'll start with you. When you go first, Vinny, open it up and find out what team you'll be joining on Saturday at the NHL All-Star Game. Uh, team Matthews, there's Justin Bieber. Team Matthews. So Vinny Trocek. And they played together on the 2016 Team North America. Thomas so Hurdle. Of sight. What team will you be joining? Team McDavid will. gets some size in the middle. Thank you. Block shot. Come on. Frank Vitrano, pride of Springfield, Mass. Chicken parm always on the menu. Ah, Team Hughes, Michael Buble. You get another Pacific time zone player. And speaking of the Pacific Division, Oliver Bjorkstrand, hold on just a matter of moments. I think we know where this is going to go. Yeah, process Just to confirm it, Tate McRae, McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr, welcome Oliver Bjorkstrand to your team. So don't forget what a great night this was. Of course, we have the skills competition tomorrow. That's 7 o'clock on Sportsnet, ESPN in America. And, of course, that'll also be a, another interesting new twist here on All-Star Weekend. And, and, Michael, you've seemed very invested in all of this. How do you like your team? Now that it's all said and done, how do you like your team? I love my team. Are you kidding me? What, what do you love about them? I love that it looks eerily similar to my fantasy hockey team that's in first place right now. 
Well, that's good news. And Justin, how are you feeling about Team Matthews? Feeling great. Feeling good? Good. All right, he's feeling good. Austin, any last words to you? No, we're looking forward to getting this thing going. So I know Toronto's going to bring the noise for everybody. It's going to be a good weekend. All right. Final words. Willa, Willa Nart, you get the final word about tonight. You get the final words on tonight's festivities. Well, this is great to be here in Toronto. To be, I, I'm not worthy to be standing next to Mr. Dave Keon. It's so fantastic to have him here. Uh, just an absolute legend. To be here with all these guys, all these incredible players who do this for a living and come in here and are going to give a good show to all the fans. You guys make it possible. We're just here to entertain you guys. Well said. Well said. All-Stars, future Hall of Famers, Stanley Cup champions all on this stage. And this is it. This is the end of the Tim Hortons NHL All-Star Player Draft. I want to thank you all for attending. Again, this is day one of three days of activities here in Toronto as we recognize the best in the world and the biggest celebrities in the world as well. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy NHL All-Star Weekend in Toronto. Good night, Toronto.